Jesus Christ was so great, they stole him from us. Bring it out. Painted him to look like them. Right. That's how great our Messiah is. That they made him look like them. Right. Huh? Understand that. And in the distance, if you ain't get it, it was never meant it. The spirit probably never bear with us. If it did, you would roll with us. We the chosen, we the go get us. This one here for the heathens. We the new, y'all the old school. King David with the dance moves. Black Messiah with the water shoes. Backstroking on them. Watch out, he got the water moves. Backstroking on them. Set the stone, we can never lose. Come out of this here nonsense you're in. We've been indoctrinated for far too long. Read. Revelation chapter 18 and verse 4. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people. God is telling his people to come out of her. Who is he talking about? He's talking about America. You blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans to wake up and come out of America. Read. Come out of her, my people that you be not partakers of her sins. Be not partakers of her sins. These here, uh, holy, uh, 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 Christmas, and these uh, holy days, what do they call it? Uh, what do they call it? What do they call it? Holiday, okay? Y'all taking all this here holiday like, like uh, Valentine just came up. Nonsense, that's nowhere in the Bible. Christmas is nowhere in the Bible. Y'all right. teach, uh, they teaches you all this nonsense. They know you're breaking God's law. That's why they give it to you and tell you it's God's law. It give me Jeremiah 6 and, uh, 6 and uh, uh, 21 and 6. So because they want to show you, it's 6 and 21. Jeremiah 6 and 21. Because I'm going to show you that God said that when you come over here, he's going to put stumbling blocks before his people. Because those that are weak and following other nations are going to continue to follow other nations. Let them know. And there's not of God. Read. Jeremiah chapter 6 and verse 21. Therefore, thus have the law. Behold, I will let stumbling blocks before this people. Stumbling blocks. What is those stumbling blocks? Valentine. Christmas, Mother's Day, all of these are stumbling blocks before the children of Bring Israel. You blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. God said, come out of her, my people. Read. Is that it on that? Yes, sir. Okay, go back. Revelation chapter 18 and verse 4. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, come out of her, my people. He said, come out of her, my people. Read. That ye be not partakers of her sins. Be not partakers of her sin. And that ye receive not of her plagues. Receive not of her plague. The destruction when Christ comes the second time to, re to, re to retain his people. Okay, he said, come out of her, his people. The reason why is because you are holy people unto him. Okay? But now you come over here, you uh, stumbling blocks been laid before you, you don't know who you are, you spit through your hair, your nationality, and everything. Okay? Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. Israel is a holy people unto the Lord thy God. The blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Sister, you are a holy people unto God. Okay? You look just like him. God have wool hair just like you, sister. Read. The Lord that God has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. He has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Let's see who those these he's talking about. Give me uh, uh, Amos 3, uh, 1. Okay? He has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. You blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Read. Amos chapter 3 and verse 1. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, or, or children of Israel. He said, listen, children of Israel, speak. Against the whole family which are brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, you only have I known 
of all the families of the earth. You only, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, only who he know of all the people on the face of the earth. He has told you to be his people. That's Three. Right. Three Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. He, has, he said he will punish you. The white man is not being punished. The so-called white man is running this place. How is he being punished? The Chinese man is not being punished. Right. The Japanese man is not being punished. Right. Nobody's being punished but the black, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's Those right. are the people who's being punished. Right. Those are his chosen ones. See? Those are his holy people. Verse two, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. So you blame the Spanish and Native Americans, you are being punished for your sins because you fall in other nations. Because, yeah, right. because you're not strong enough to think for yourself because you want to follow what the white man says. Let him know. Right. This here white Christ, this image of the beast, that's who you follow. Bring it every, whatever he tell you, you believe. Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself, above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Yes, okay, now give me 2 Corinthians 6, 17. So now, now people, you got to understand, you was brought over here for a reason. You was brought over here for a punishment. Okay, and you got to remember. I mean, come back to your remembrance. Matter of fact, hold that and give me uh, uh, eight, uh, first King eight and forty-seven. You got to think and remember who you are. Now God tell you to remember to think of who you are and come back to His law, statutes, and commandments. Verse forty-six. Yeah. First Kings chapter eight and verse forty-six. If there sin against thee, for there is no man that sinneth not and thou be angry with them, and deliver them to the enemy, so that they carry them and were captive unto the land of the enemy, far or near. Yet, if they shall betake themselves in the land where they were carried captive, and repent and make supplication unto thee in the land of them that carried them captive. The Lord said, bethink yourself, bethink he made to remember who you are and come back to your nationality. Come back to who you are, okay? And come out of this here nonsense and worship in these, this white Christ, the devil, that y'all believe is Jesus Christ. That, this white image is nowhere in the Bible. You are in the land of your enemies. Give me Daniel 12 and 9. You are in the land of your enemies. America is your enemy. The white man is your enemy. The Chinese man is your enemy. The Japanese man is your enemy. You is hated all over. You are hated throughout the nation. Throughout the Daniel chapter 9 and verse 11. Yea, all Israel have transgressed the law, even departing that they may not obey that voice. Therefore, the curse is put upon us in the oath that is written in the law of Moses, the servant of God. All Israel has transgressed God's laws. You black, Hispanics, and Native Americans have transgressed God's laws. That's why he sent you over here as slaves as a punishment, okay? And you had to repent of who you were. Come back to your nationality. Sister, you are God's uh, people. You are his chosen people. You look just like God. God has your texture of hair, but the white man teaches you to hate your natural hair, which is wool, which is the beautiful hair in the world. You know, so we're going to show you what's that in, Mo in Moses that we transgressed God's law that was written in the book of Moses. Give me God, uh, Deuteronomy uh, yeah. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. Yeah, right. But it shall come to pass. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe and to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. And only curses shall overtake us. We're going to look at some of the curses. Matter of fact, I'm going to give you one. I'm going to give you the icing on the cake to show you that you are the people that God is talking about. Give me 68. So you got to come back. But they tell you the Jewish people is God's law, but yes, still instead they're not being punished. Verse 68. 
and the law shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Egypt is synonymous for slavery, for bondage. That's what Egypt means, okay? He said, you're going to come back into slavery with ships. Who is the only people that came over here as slaves and, and ships? It's the, it's the blacks, okay? You people. By the way, whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. You'll see your homeland no more again. And then ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bond men and bond women. You're sold to your enemy for slave men and slave women. And no man shall buy you. And no man shall redeem you. That's what buy it means. It means to redeem, to save. It's an old pranker word. You are God's chosen people. You came over here as slaves as a punishment from God. You were sold to your enemies. You got to wake up, be think yourselves, come back to your nationality, and realize that these white people is not your friends. Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcast, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.